Tina from Tugget Tamas, and I've been testing the Maven C3 12x50s alongside the B6 12x50 binoculars. Now, while I must confess that I'm a big fan of the B6s, the C3s have also won me over because it's cheaper. Yep, I said that. So I'm gonna get into why the C3 12x50s still have the it factor for hunting and nighttime observation. Since I've mentioned the B6 binoculars, I may as well give you a quick comparison to explain. The B6 is a new to the B series. Not only is it a new line, it's the first of its kind with 50 millimeter objective lenses. And they started around $1,000. Now the C3s is part of the C series and it's a well-established line, mid-range quality, and it starts at around $400. So you can obviously tell that it's more affordable than the B6s. So for those who don't want to spend a grand, this is my highly recommended alternative if you want that 12 by 50 platform. But to be fair to the B6s, they do have better optical specs and better optical performance than the C3s, but you are paying more for it too. Check it out, there's a link down below where you can get more detail on the B6s. The C3 is part of the C series, so both Japanese and Chinese components and assembled in the Philippines. It has ED, extra low dispersion elements in the objective lenses. Now that's supposed to reduce chromatic aberration and improve sharpness and contrast. And on that note the C3 is a performer just like all this other C series binoculars. When chromatic aberration is visible it's usually in very high contrast conditions. On that note though really good performance very little chromatic aberration if you see any at all. Now this is a roof prism binocular and more specifically it has Schmidt Pachan prism so a little bit more complex to make than your standard roof prism but still absolutely in need of phase correction coatings on the uh, non-reflective surfaces in the assembly. With the phase correction coatings it makes things a lot more brighter and there's a lot less light transmission loss and not any coating will do like a silver coating it's dielectric all the way. To further protect the glass, the exterior lenses have a protective coating to keep it clean from oily fingerprint smudges, dirt, dust. It also beads up water and it keeps it easy to clean. The C3 has a polymer frame and the B6 has a magnesium frame. Now this kind of gives the C3 a little bit of an edge because it makes it slightly more lightweight. But really there is no real difference in handling of the two. Uh, the B, the C3s are a little bit more ergonomic in my opinion because it has thumb indents on the underside and the B6s do not. But they, to the eye, they're pretty much identical in size, although the specs do say that there is a 0.1 inch difference uh, that lends it over to the B6. It's waterproof for only five minutes in one meter of water, but it is just as fog proof and fully rubber armored as its more expensive B-series counterpart. After handling the textured adjustments on the focus and the diopter, I have to admit that I do kind of frown upon the uh, diopter on the C3 and the focus. It's not as smooth and it has, it doesn't have this grippy kind of textured feel that the B6 does. You know, the diopter is still really stiff on the C3, but at least I can see the silver lining and kind of appreciate that it's a preventative and unintentional movement. I really have no issue with the overall build quality of the C3. In fact, I think it's really tough and rugged and it'll last a long time. Really good performance, really good quality, exactly what we expect from Maven. As a 12 times binocular, it's not my go-to recommendation for timber hunting or bird watching. It's just too much power. And it's not that the optical performance isn't there for bird watching. I mean, it has great reduction in chromatic aberration and really good close-up views of your targets, i.e. birds. But it really needs to be mounted to a tripod for ultimate image stability to resolve those sorts of details. It also has quite a narrow field of view for what is considered a birding binocular with only 251 feet, uh, which equates to 4.8 angular field of view. So what I do recommend it for is for open area hunting on elk, deer, sheep, coyotes, you name it. Uh, open, open fields and open plains, it's not a challenge for the C3 12 by 50s. It's also a real champ for uh, extended long range observation. 
I could see when I field tested with these, mainly at low light, low light uh, I could see elk up to 800 yards. And that was with, of course, the expected decrease in sharpness and contrast because I was losing light, but I could still see elk at 800 yards. What about for hiking and backpacking? Well, the Maven C3 12 by 50 binocular is what I would consider compact at 6.6 .6 inches in length and 5.3 5.3 inches across. It did not fit any standard size pouches that I tested out. So I ended up buying a chest harness pouch wrap thing so I can wrap the binocular in this. Now you don't have to use a pouch. It does come with a Maven neck strap and that should be comfortable enough for reasonable amounts of time. When it came to nighttime use, I was really impressed. Lit up areas up to about 350 yards were really good to get those small details. The biggest issue I ran into was getting the image steady enough while using it freehand to get those really small details, you know, features, what people were doing. But at 100 yards, it was completely different. I could see read license plates and people watched quite comfortably using it freehand. Now, lunar observation was fantastic. You can see a lot of detail on the moon. It's super bright, really easy to spot, and really easy to, to observe. Now, digiscoping lunar imaging with a phone is not so easy. You're going to definitely have to increase that digital magnification to be able to capture any details of the moon, but you can and you will. Now, when it comes to looking at observing planets, you can spot them if you know what you're looking for, but seeing them beyond uh, shiny orbs in the sky, just not possible. You need way more magnification for that. It's not a telescope after all. My biggest beef with the C3 12 by 50 binoculars is definitely with the tripod cap and the associated process of mounting a tripod adapter. The width between the objective bells is very narrow. And I like the C3 tripod cap much better over the cap on the B6s. The B6s are really small and they have smooth edges, whereas the C3 tripod cap is a lot bigger. So it makes it relatively easier to get off there and put back on. Now this is a flaw just for me and it's not necessarily the fault of the binoculars, but my tripod adapter has a long stem. So in order to be able to mount the binocular, I have to really get it in there and then believe it or not, I need to use a set of pliers. Not my favorite process. In fact, I dread the process of mounting the C3 12 by 50s. Now, even with tripod adapters that have a shorter stem or even just a turny wheel knob thing, it still can be quite difficult to even mount it because of that gap is so narrow. It's hard to get your fingers in there. Maybe it'll work if you could do it like this, but even so, your thumbs have only so much room fingers have so much room to move. Given that 12 times performance is best acquired when mounted, this is not my favorite aspect of the C3s, even given its compact size. There's a lot to like about the C3 12 by 50 binoculars, and I consider it the largest of the all-purpose spectrum. If it was about money alone, the C3s would definitely be my first pick, would always be my first pick. You know, it's mid-range quality, it performs with mid-range quality, and it's every bit worth it for hunting, nighttime observation, and long range observation. If you want bigger than 50 millimeter binoculars, you're gonna to have to jump over to the B series. If you want something more compact, I can give my every recommendation to the C2s. Now you will want to check out the Maven binocular comparison guide if you don't have a clue about what I'm talking about. All the links will be down below. So as always, people, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and get outside.